Watchmaking starts with the basics, and here at the Timeon Foundation, well, they're doing anything but basic watchmaking. An educational project launched jointly by Robert Grubel, Stephen Forsey, and originally Philippe Dufour. Now, with participation from Martin Fry, designer, and Felix Baumgartner, watchmaker of Urberk, Naissance du Montre de is about to be realized by my friends Dominique and Serrano right here. Now let's follow the genesis of this watch from its earlier conception. Right here, what you see is the original Ocelon watch produced by Dominique and Serrano, and it is an entirely handmade watch. They made the hairspring manually. Everything in the watch was created without the use of a CNC, which is to say everything in the watch was created exactly as a watch would have been fabricated during the late 19th century in the Vallée de Joux. The timepiece went from this original Ocelon, which I'm going to turn over and show you in detail, a prototype, effectively, a prototype of a prototype. As we start moving towards the final watch, Naissance d'une montre deux, we have what is effectively the movement that will go into the final watch. Now it uses a tensator spring, which you can see in its conceptual form on this diagram. It is a constant force spring. So you don't need a remontoir, you don't need a fusée and chain, you don't need a constant force differential. It has even torque from max wind to minimum wind. The final watch, which starts with this and moves on to this, will have an extended power reserve. It also features an exotic butterfly style non-annular, that is non-ring shaped balance, and differential and the differential allows the watch to discharge and be wound at the same time. This is the prototype. This is where it started. We're gonna take a quick journey. And this is what it will be when it's complete. You can see the differential. You can see the non-annular butterfly style balance, the handmade overcoil, the black polished screws, the frosted bridges, the hand chamfer, and of course, everything created the old-fashioned way without CNC. It will be a joint project of the Time Aeon Foundation, Rubel Forsey, and Erberg, bearing the names of the proud creators. We're about a year away from seeing the final thing, but I can show you the product of the original Naissance du Montre. No, there are, there are later trains as well. Michel Boulanger, with his students, passing on the knowledge of historical bienfacteur, as well as watchmaking mechanics. This is a face of the future, guys. Remember that smile. That's Serrano, father of Naissance d'une Montre II, here at SIHH 2019. Naissance d'une Montre III will be a product of Ferdinand Bertout, the high horology division of Chopard. The third watch in the series starts here.